Catch a video of that. Oh, yeah. But something else happened that was not good at all. So we have a very exciting weekend ahead of us planned. It is a two night camp out, winter camp out. So I have the Twin Peak with me and it is 100% gonna get set up this time because if it doesn't, I'm not gonna have something to sleep in. So uh, I'm excited to get that set up, get the hot stove in there and, and really see. For me, I'm like, I'm like a kid on Christmas morning. I get to go on this camp out, I get to set up my tent uh, all the dads there, we've made like a little dad group. We planned our own menus, all the kids planned their own menus, and the dads were just gonna hang out, have a good, fun weekend. Super excited about it. No embellishment, it is going to be zero degrees tonight. It is getting down to zero tonight. We are in the single digits. This is gonna be a cold, cold weekend, but we're bundled up. We're ready for it, and I'm going to bring you with us. With my tent all set up and the stove running, heating up the tent nicely, it was time for me to explore the camp a little bit and meet up with the rest of the folks for dinner. This place is actually an old Methodist camp that I used to visit when I was younger and that my parents used to go to a lot when they were teenagers. Thirty years ago, my brothers and I used to sneak down to this part of the camp and play on this playground. That red building's been there long before I started playing in it thirty years ago. This brings back lots of memories. Yes, it's like the, the exact way of eating. I mean, we could. Where? I don't know. Looks good. Yeah. Catch a video of that. Oh, yeah. After dinner, we made use of one of the cabins where Lucas and I got an opportunity to play some air hockey. We then sat down and learned how to do some lashings. And shortly after that, we went to bed.
here. Hey guys, it's the second night out and I have to tell you the story of last night. Did not get any video footage. It was brutal. The temperatures got down to negative 14. The stove was only warm when I was close to it. So it really did not provide a lot of heat. I woke up probably every two hours or so. My sleeping bag just wasn't cutting it in the negative 12, 13 degrees. One of the other dads that are here, he told me that his thermometer read uh, negative 16. Tonight, it's 10 degrees. I feel like I'm in a sauna. Not really, but uh, it's a huge difference from last night. Last night, I, I just did everything I could to stay warm. I uh, didn't even think about doing something like this. All right. Last night, I burned some dura logs. They're this uh, composite material. They're kind of tarry. Uh, I thought, hey, you know, I'm going to swing by the store, get six or seven logs. They burn for about four hours. I'm like, okay, three logs a night. That's 12 hours of just constant burning. I don't have to keep feeding the fire. I'm a genius, right? It's going to keep everything really warm. Not really, that's not what happened. So first off, they didn't give off that much heat. So uh, it was not beating the, the negative, whatever it was, 11 uh, degrees. Uh, but something else happened that was not good at all. So I had to combine some wood with this tarry log thing and it was kind of working it, it I would put it in there it would heat up I I slept close I could feel the heat on my face and kind of on my upper shoulders and that that felt good and, and I could fall back to sleep and a couple hours later uh, I'd wake up cold I put another log in the fire at about 3 or 4 a.m. when it was the coldest I put a new log in and smoke just started coming into the tent and I thought oh crap it's four o'clock 3 a.m. whatever hour it was I'm in my sleeping bag I don't want to get out but I have to because smoke is pouring in <sighs> so I throw on my boots throw on my jacket I'm wearing nothing but long johns because that's what I sleep in and I decide that I'm going to go use the bathroom and then I'm going to come back and deal with this problem. So I go and use the bathroom, I come back, and I start poking around in my, my hot stove trying to figure out what the heck was going on. And I, I took off the, the chimney thinking, okay, I'm just going to poke down from the other side and open up that gap and put the chimney back on. And I noticed that the fire sparker or the, the, the uh, spark arrestor on the top was completely closed up. There was, it was solid. There was no way that I could have gotten any smoke out of that. So I took it off and then the second I took it off, all the smoke started going the right way again and started pouring out of the chimney. Problem averted, and I went uh, on with my morning. Stoked up the fire, got it warm again, went back to sleep. <sighs> so this morning I took a good look at it and uh, I had it, took it all apart, emptied everything out of the, the stove, took a nice thick stick, about the diameter of the, the tube and just cleaned it all out. Uh, made a giant pile. I mean, it was caked in there. I've never seen my pipes so caked before. And, uh, so, lesson learned. Don't use fire logs in tents. They gunk up the chimney. I can't imagine what they do to homes. Uh, but they certainly do not work well in hot tents. So tonight, I have a stack of wood, I'm going to burn it, and it will be good. Let's have a great night.
Morning. I haven't checked the temperature yet. I just know it's cold, but not as cold as yesterday. I have the fire going now. It's starting to warm up. I have to take down camp this morning. Get some breakfast. So Lucas uh, stayed in his patrol's tent. So they're over, I don't know, about 50 yards away. I heard him and his comrades playing until, I don't know, maybe 1030. They were up pretty late last night. Just running around out in the cold, enjoying being young boys, young men. So, this morning though, we're going to break camp, cook breakfast, have a church service, go home. I am looking forward to going home, although I love it out here. I'm always torn. Towards the end of these types of trips, I, I'm, I'm excited to go home can't wait to see my other kids and my wife and just have some of the the comforts uh, that's home but the second I get home I want to come right back out I want to sleep in in the wilderness be outdoors enjoy trying to keep a fire going all night it's just fun see what this day has to hold. with a closing flag ceremony. We then made one more pass through, making sure we left the camp extremely clean, and then we headed home. The coldest weather you've ever sleeping in your life, and it's behind you. Every camp out from here on is a cakewalk, except for when we go on a long hike. That's your next challenge. People do this where they record in their tent. I mean, like a bigger tent light. Okay, that isn't bad. Maybe like that. There we go.